Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. This is episode 59 of Elex, and what I have tried is to, I were, we were able to lure down uh, two albs that were rowing patrols up here, uh, but we lured them down one at a time. So I did not record that because I was just trying to see if we can do it, and apparently we can. Oh, ow. aside from that mechanical monstrosity, there are two other guys by the gate. I wonder if we can take them out. This could be if we just work on guy, this could be challenging. Dura said that, and hopefully we do not draw those guys. The mechanic. <coughs> Out. Wow. Wow. Oh, that guy has poison. Oh, no, 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 I don't think we can do this. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let us uh, load the game. So Duras cannot do one-on-one -on -one against them, and neither can we. So... <laughs> okay, anyway, that was ambitious. Uh, I thought when we could do two-on-one, we can now do two-on-two, -two, but uh, no. I guess b give, given our uh, damage output and our uh, lack of what do you call this armor, uh, man, we're still we're still just working with workers' armor. We're not even have a uh, hunter's armor. Okay, Duras, follow me. Yeah. Okay, that's not working out. So sorry, guy, uh, Crony. You four. Ooh, what's that thing? Ooh, I think if we can get a combination together, we actually do a lot more damage. Okay. Anyway, so uh, this is a bust. <laughs> uh, mm, I don't know what to do next. Okay. Uh, we still have that... Uh, what do you call this? Uh, the mission to go inside an Abessa locked out. We can do that. Uh, so we are up here. We couldn't get in there. Okay, we can just fast travel to the city. Man, that was just very, very discouraging. I thought, yeah, I got pumped up because uh, we could do two on one. Uh, two on two is vastly different. At least we're now damaging them. I mean the Alps. <sighs> Okay, anyway, uh, let's see what happens here. Uh, let's check out uh, if we can get into the domed city. That's a cleric city, right? Uh, yeah, we need to talk to the outlaws. We talked to them before. Uh, they even have scarecrow. Interesting. You think you oh, know talk. what's going on? No one knows what's going on. Who's the guy we were Just talking to? Outlaw. Believe the guy that would, was, was giving us a um, outlaw. Speak. Oh, hunter. hunter. Okay. Uh, deal. Uh, give me the ID and I'll meet Cooper. Deal. Give me the ID and I'll meet Cooper. Good. Right. That's the plan. Long term. You see, Wick has all the blank IDs. So before I can get you an ID, I need you to get me Wick. Where is Wick? 
Well, that there is a good question. You see, he's been gone for a while. He'd gone over to the ruins to see if there was anything worth scavenging there, and hasn't come back. You should look for him over to the northwest if you're in a hurry to get into the city. Just look through all the houses. He should still be there, scavenging. Ah, on our way to do the Kron, I think we already stumbled through him. Wick is dead, but I found the ID cards on his body. Dead? Shit. I told him whatever was there wasn't worth the risk. But Wick would do anything if it would mean him getting two shards he could tap together. Ah, well, give me the blank ID card. I'll work it up for you now. So, done. One fake ID ready to go. Uh, give me the counterfeit. Oh, we got in for you. Okay. Give me the counterfeit ID. Okay, wait a second. Your image has to be added there first. So, done. Here's your ID. And this is the ID for Cooper. Take it to him. But make sure the clerics don't see it, see him, or see you handing this over. And do it as soon as you get in there. He's been at risk too long as it is. We don't need him being held, or worse, turned into a vegetable by the suggestors. I wonder what this place was. Can we take these things? Is she really so gullible? Uh, it's forbidden. Okay, how about let us saving this? Let's save this. <laughs> I don't know. We were told that if we go in there, we might. There's a possibility we cannot come back out, right? Okay, anyway, as soon as we go in there, uh, let's look for Cooper and give it to him. And then we can check out the city, we can talk to people. Oh, what is this? Water Lily. Not a step further. No one is allowed into the city without an entry permit. I have an entry permit. I have an entry ID. Let me through. Really? I thought I knew all the ones that had been issued. And you were here asking about getting ID before. So tell me where you got this one. It belongs to my brother. He loaned it to me. You know that's not how IDs work. They're for the person they were issued to. Ha! <laughs> if you hadn't said, I wouldn't have known. The picture looks really like you. You could be twins. All right, just this once. I'll let you through. Oh, and uh, there are some rules I need to tell you before you enter. First, stay away from the generators. Nobody but the technicians is allowed access to them. That sort of security is why we need to keep an eye on IDs. So if you meet someone who's in the city illegally, report them to us immediately. And Eric will take care of them. We can only keep peace in the city if we all work together. And we keep the city secure. That's what was laid down by the Great Council of Magalan. And the Great Council gave the clerics the responsibility for guaranteeing the city's independence. That means everyone is welcome here until they cause trouble. So keep the peace while you're in there. Our suggestors are busy enough without you adding to their workload. And that's it. You may pass. Okay. Uh, what's happening in the city? What's happening in the city? Nothing right now, but it's simmering. You can feel it. There was something building even before we let those Alps separatists in here. They just lit the touch paper. But hey, we're supposed to be a sanctuary, so... Someone decided to open the gates and let the separatists in. Uh How many separatists are there in the city? How many separatists are there in the city? Too many. <laughs> Once an Alb, always an Alb. They still hit Elix. Just a matter of time before they turn back. I don't know what they want in the city. I'd heard a bunch of them had set up a base in the west of Abessa, so they could have gone there. If we weren't so busy here, we'd have tracked them down and cleared them out of Abessa. Last thing we need is Zacor thinking we're harboring rebels. Uh
What's a suggester? What's a suggester? Our suggestors are the reason things remain peaceful in the city. If someone causes trouble, then they're either thrown out, see a suggester for reorientation, or both. But don't worry. It's a positive experience that will leave you happy about life. Even so, I recommend avoiding it. Uh, what can I find, Eric? Where can I find Eric? Just go straight down the path into the inner city. You should find him there. You mentioned the Council of Magalon. The Great Council, yes. You'll have to speak to Judicator Alois if you want to know more about that. I'm not that well informed on my history. Who is Aldous? Who's Alois? Alois is the Judicator in charge of the city. You'll find him in the castle. He likes to stay close to the generators. Can we even take that thing? Yeah! <laughs> How about this one? Yeah, it doesn't say forbidden, does it? That is pretty cool. That's wonderful about this ability. How things might have been before the comet. Wow, these pumpkins are huge. Oh, what's this? Sit folding chair. How about this? What is this? Ah, uh, take a flyer. Ooh, take a bloody burger recipe. Yes. What does that? What does that do? Okay, let's check the bloody. That's another food that we can actually eat. Uh. Bloody burger recipe. We we still have forty fried meat. Uh or are the recipes? Powerful mana plant no. Uh counterfeit ID materials, tools, keys, other sockets, tool key. Plants. Oh, we don't have the recipe. Hmm. I guess we can cook it now. So, whatever that bloody burger is. Okay, we can't take these. Who's this guy? Speak to Cooper, yeah. What do you want? Do you back the clerics here or do you want them gone? Uh, you get right to the point, don't you? You get right to the point, don't you? And are you gonna give me an answer? I'm against the clerics, I'm for the clerics. Apparently he doesn't like the clerics, so let's just cozy up to him. I'm against the clerics. Right, good. I can see you talk sense. They say they're here to keep things safe, to keep order. But it's obvious they want to drop their neutrality and extend Ignadon's control into Abessa. Not allowing anyone in or out of the city. That's just the start of it. You think that's because the Alps are getting closer? Or that those followers of Kalan really want a backdoor for invasion? Well, if there's going to be an invasion, I'm going to need some more ammunition. Well, if there's going to be an invasion, I'm going to need some ammunition. And you want me to give you that? Well, this is like being back in Tavar. People asking for things and expecting to just get them. But yeah, if I'm going to talk about the need to fight, I suppose I should give you something to help you out. Whoa, we got five explosive grenades received. Hunter sent me. Why didn't he come himself? He was afraid he wouldn't be let out of the city again if he was caught. You mean he was afraid the same thing would happen to him that happened to me? Fuck it. 
At least the suggesters haven't found me yet. Did Hunter give you something for me? Yes, I have something for you. Yes, I have something for you. Thanks. I was starting to think that I would never leave this stinking cleric-infested dome. I don't know if Hunter promised you a reward, but here's something for me in any case. You've helped a good cause. Trust me. Well, why don't you do something to stop the clerics? Why don't you do something to stop the clerics? I trust you. You gave me my ticket here after all. But I can't tell you our plan. But you must have realized by now, the dome must go. The clerics can't be allowed to take a Bessa. Okay, we're done here, so let us save this. Huh. I think let us save it to seven. I think we can just walk out of here, right? We have, uh... The guy just let us in. In theory, we can just walk back out. Anybody watching? You know, in this game, yeah, if... Nobody's watching, we're gonna take everything. Oh, nope, nope, she is watching. Come on! This is so clunky. I guess whoever holds it uh, owns it, right? Did she go to sleep or something? Huh. I think we might want to talk to, uh... How do we know where the generators are? He said he's in the castle. Hey, you. Let me guess. I'm not allowed into the upper quarter. What? No, everyone's allowed to move about freely here. I just have a question for you. You got here recently, right? I just want to know what things are like outside the dome. What's going on up there? Are the Alps attacking? Why do you ask? Why do you ask? I'm interested. We're cut off here under the dome, safe from the world outside. So they pass us by like a river around a rock. Kalan gave us the knowledge, and now look what we've achieved. A safe harbor for all people. The clerics and Ignodon say we've strayed. I say we've found the true path. You built the dome? You built the dome? I designed the plans for it. Then we built it together. My name is Eric, by the way. Chief engineer here in the dome. I'm in charge of all the generators and technicians who oversee them. Why don't the clerics have a dome like this in Ignaton? The dome requires immense amounts of energy. And the fluctuations in it have to be constantly balanced. The technology is complex. That means there's no way to cover the Hort with a shield like this. Besides, the cliffs around Hort give it a natural protection. Can this dome survive an Albatech? Of course. 
Why do you think we built it? As long as we can maintain a constant energy flow, then they can't get in. Unfortunately, achieving that isn't so easy. Some of the energy regulators are starting to malfunction again. Malfunctioning energy regulators sound dangerous. Of course they are. That's out of frying yourself if you try to adjust them. If we were attacked right now, the whole dome would go critical. About the broken energy regulators. What will happen if they aren't repaired? If just one regulator fails, it could mean an emergency shutdown for the dome. Otherwise, the discharge it would create could kill a whole lot of the people the shield is supposed to be protecting. But whether it's a discharge or an emergency shutdown, both scenarios would see us defenseless. How many energy regulators are broken? Well, all of them. I've sorted replacements where I can. But Lutz hasn't received his yet. Okay. I will help you with the energy regulators. I'd wanted to do it myself, but do you really think you could handle it? So, let's find out who you are. You should go to Ignadon one day. You could be a good cleric. Yeah, I know, I left Ignadon behind, but they could offer you better training than I could. I have the energy regulator here. Please, take it to Lutz and help him to install it. Come back to me when you're done. Mission security. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> let us save this. Do we know what we're doing in here? I don't know. Uh, I don't. We don't have crafting of four. Can uh, we're just supposed to deliver the uh, thing to Lutz, right? Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, we got a new mission in Abessa. Uh, Eric wants me. Ooh, how do we get there? He is over here. Is that it? That's the gate. Hey you, I heard you speaking to Eric. He gave you an energy regulator for the dome, right? Give it to me, will you? Very soon now, you're going to need the right sort of friend, and giving that to me will earn you that. Why do you want the regulator? Haven't you noticed the tension here? All the anger and the plotting? It scares the hell out of me. So I want a way out of here if things go wrong. A sort of back door. I want to modify the regulator so I can drop a section of the dome and get out if things go bad. Let me modify it, then I'll give it back to you so you can get it to where it needs to be. You've got to see why I'd want a way out, yeah? So, do we have a deal? Uh, what's in it for me? Okay, anyway, uh, let me cut the... Uh, our timer went off, Joe. So, let me cut the episode right here. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you'll join me in the next episode. Bye!